Today, we react to the NFL rookies reacting to their Madden 22 ratings. Oh, beautiful content here on the channel. Now, secondly, at the end of the video, I'm going to make up to all the Vikings fans. I accidentally left them out of my rebuilding all 32 NFL teams in one video. Video? So, at the end of the video, I will do a four-minute speed rebuild to make up to the Vikings fans and hopefully win the Super Bowl with you to make it up to you. But no more fluff. Getting right into things. Disclaimer, I do pause a lot. I do like to talk about the ratings and what I think and reaction and stuff. So like, bite me, get out of here. It's not that serious. Let's get into it. Elijah Moore. Mac Jones. Patrick Sertan. Travis Etienne Jr. JC Horn. Dante Samuel. I'm about to find out my Madden rating. Give me that 99 lockdown, man. Coverage, zone coverage, all that. My speed gotta be up there. I need like plus 85 on everything. 90, 94 plus speed. And, and All right, right at the get-go, we see Travis Etienne. He's listed as a wide receiver. Like, I know it did say they're going to play him at wide receiver song, but he's a running back. Like, what are you? I mean, I know they have James Robinson, but that's weird. That's really, really weird. They have him actually listed as a wide receiver. We could work I would expect, like, a 74. Four from him maybe at wide receiver that's a weird one that's a really really weird one with that i really want to see my speed and my catching oh, i gotta make sure they don't downplay me as a slow guy man coverage i gotta have an 84 and it gotta be number one out of all rookies what Whoa, 74 man coverage for jc horn top corner in the draft in terms of draft position wow 74 man i mean that so does that mean he's gonna be about a 74 wow that's a, i think that's a little low i think that main cover should be high 70s i mean you know, he's a rookie and all that can improve but that's a little low a little low for jc horn 74. i think they seen how many catches i gave him my last season in college what are y'all not seeing awareness 95 you know i got y'all dead wrong they need to change that Awareness rating is so stupid. It literally seems like it's just there to manipulate the ratings. Like, what does that really even mean? Like, did the, the awareness rating really change anything if you're the one usering your players? Because the awareness is all about CPU. So, like, I mean, I guess it does mean something for defensive players that you're not usering, but, like, come on now. Asante Samuel Jr., 92 speed. That's about right, I it's think. That's his CMA. guess. At least a 92. Yes, sir. Hey, put me out there. Throw power? Oh, lordy. 87? I mean, I wasn't that far off. Short route running? Give me 87. I feel like I'm creating a player right now. Ooh, I disrespect. See, I was about to say, bro, he has never played wide receiver before. How are you going to get an 87 short route running? I mean, he's obviously made catches as, as, out of the backfield at Clemson, but that's a little high to guess as you're starting short route running as a rookie in the NFL at Madden 22. Who got better short route running than me? Change of direction. You might as well just put me This guy? <sighs> Wow, so that's actually nasty. Elijah Moore is going to be somebody absolutely nasty to play with throughout the years. I expect him to have a great career in New York, and he starts with 93 change of direction. That is disgusting. That could be 99 by the end of the year. I mean, his 100 guess wasn't too far off. His 100 guess, which is physically impossible for them to actually put into Madden, I guess, now, is more closer to his actual rating than what Travis Etienne was, so that's funny. Who, who was about me? Because 93 kind of low, like, I don't really know nothing I can't do. A break tackling, 52. That would be 69. Incredible. Oh, my God. No way. You are trolling. That's so funny. Like, to be fair, I think Mac Jones is going to be pretty low rated just because everybody, it seemed like the cool thing to knock Mac Jones, but you hear how well he's doing in preseason camp and stuff. I think he's going to be fine, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was low 70s to begin that in 22. What do you think he actually, if he starts or ends up playing for the Patriots this year, watch out for Mac Jones being one of the highest increasing rookies throughout his rookie campaign. Like, in terms of overall. Like, watch him actually become a high overall by the end of the year than Trevor Lawrence. Not saying it's going to happen, but it wouldn't shock me. At least grow more for his overall throughout the year than Trevor Lawrence, maybe. How many tackles have ever been broken before? <laughs> 66 overall. Okay. He's a 71. Now, to be fair... Like, that's smart for him to come out here with an educated guest. Mac Jones, I'm telling you, he's a sharp guy, my dude. He's actually close. Not one of those lame guys like, oh, I'm a 99 rated. Nah, was smart to the point, knows about Madden, was actually lowballing himself. I think 71 is actually really solid for Mac Jones to start off his career. Not too low, not too high. Right in the middle. I'll take that. It's all right. It's not about where he starts, where he's finished. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. My cousin found me. 92 speed though, you moving though, you moving. Hey, you know what time it is? I'm proud of you, man. You should have been about a 94, but hey. You can't That's it? Every week. That's it? Well, that sucks. So, uh, here we go. So, that was the lamest rookie reveal video they have ever done. 
But if we make this full screen really quick, we do get to see the best rookies in Madden 22 right here. Kyle Pitts is the highest rated rookie at 81 overall. I 100% agree with that sentiment. I, last year, I thought Chase Young was going to be the highest rated rookie, and he was. I thought the same thing about Kyle Pitts, and he is. 81 is insane for a rookie to be starting off at in like the Madden that they're in. 81's insane, and, but I think he deserves it. He's so talented. He's going to be great there in Atlanta, I think. Trevor Lawrence, 78. I think that's about right. Now, to be fair, I thought it was going to be a little bit higher because he's been the highest touted prospect at the quarterback position since Andrew Luck. So, Andrew Luck, I think, was an 80, I think, to start his Madden career. Trevor Lawrence, a little bit lower at 78, but I think he's still going to be fine. Jalen Waddle was 76, about right. Patrick Sertan, 76, about right. Zach Wilson, I'm shocked, isn't like a 77 or so, 76. With 75, that you can't complain as a rookie. It does seem like across the board, the highest rated rookies are a little bit lower than normal. Jamar Chase at a 75, wow. I think he should be at least tied with Jalen Waddle and Patrick Sertan. Devonta Smith at 75, I have a problem with, bro. Most dominant wide receiver we have seen the past 20 years in the college game. I mean, he won the Heisman Trophy. You have him at a 75? Come on, bro. He was so dominant. I don't know what gives him a 75. Panay Sewell also. I thought he was going to be closer to Kyle Pitts than Trey Lance. And he's only a 75. That's, a, that's probably actually a bigger shocker. I think Devontae Smith and Panay Sewell are my two biggest shockers so far. Let me know who you think your biggest shock is in terms of rookie overalls in the comment section below. Who's underrated? Who's overrated? Trey Lance. I actually thought he was going to be a little bit closer to Mac Jones because he's so raw. I wouldn't have been surprised if he was the same or maybe just one overall higher than Mike, Mac Jones. But 74 is not the worst thing in the world. And Justin Fields, too. I'm shocked that Lance and Fields are the same. I thought Justin Fields, like, if I'm doing the ratings, I thought Trevor Lawrence, 79, would have been good. We have Zach Wilson, probably put him 77. Justin Fields, probably a 75, 76. And Trey Lance, probably a 73. And then probably Mac Jones, a 71, 72. Is about right for me for the get-go. And even keel across everybody and their opinions and all these quarterbacks. Once again, like I said, guys, let me know in the comment section below who you think is overrated and underrated as a rookie in Madden 22. Who do you think is going to end off the year as the highest-rated rookie? Make sure you're subscribed, dude. Just trying to hit a million subscribers by the end of the year. And if you're still hanging around, enjoy a free speed rebuild because I'm a god dang moron and forgot to put them in the full video which there is a link to the full video in the description box below not gonna lie feel a little bit more pressure than normal because I'm such a moron but we're gonna move we're gonna move and try to actually win the Super Bowl with the Vikings what I want to do here is I want to try to get the best quarterback possible and even if that means trading away Kirk Cousins Oh my god, bro. Hold the phone for a second. Who's the best quarterback that we could get? Yes, we're gonna just see something here. We're just gonna see something here. So if we throw in our first round pick as well into the deal, it's declined. Okay, but maybe we can actually get somebody that's over like a 90 rated QB for Kirk Cousins in return. But I need to be fast about it. I need to be, I, I kind of just want to get Aaron Rodgers. Like, I want to see if this is a possibility. Like, about this straight up, it's going to be, yep. Yeah, we're going to get ourselves Aaron freaking Rodgers, bro. Once again, actually crazy. Like, this is going to make everybody so bad. Division rivals and whatnot. Submit this through, decline. Let's use our first round draft pick from next year and see if that's enough to make this deal be accepted. It's declined, but now this should be simple. Like, maybe throw in, we have a ton of force to use with that. Oh, my God. Let's just use the fourth. We have so many of them. Submit it. Like, let's not. Okay. Like, why? Like, why does this always happen to waste time for me, man? Now, that one was accepted. Welcome, Aaron Rodgers, the Minnesota Vikings. That's the weirdest thing I think I've ever done on the channel. Now, we do need to get offensive linemen, and I'm going to go to the first guys that I can think of. I just want the team to be as good as possible. So, we're going to go. We're going to go Roger Saffold. We're also going to try to get Jeffrey Simmons, and we're also going to try and get Bud Dupree. And if we throw in a second round draft pick for this, it's declined. Oh my God, bro. I love this game so much. Submit this one through, declined again. But now we probably could throw in a cornerback, like a crappy one, like Harrison Hand. Submit this through. That one was accepted. We just got so many good players for literally nothing at all. Now we still need some guards, though. I can't. Who's the guard? Oh, Brian Bulaga. He's the guard we always get because he's a nice young man. Brian Balaga, oh, he's not a guard, he's a tackle, isn't he? He's a guard, I'm a moron. 
Brian Blog, we're still gonna get you though, because we're already here, already too deep in. A minute 49 seconds left to go. That's the climb, but we also throw in one of the 45 fifths. And then a fourth next year. This should be accepted. Welcome, Brian Balaga, to the Minnesota Vikings. We do need a defensive end. We have a minute and 30 seconds left to go. We obviously still can sign draft picks. I gotta be smart with this. Who's a really good? Oh, I really kind of want to go after Nick Bosa. Now I don't. I don't want to be silly here. I do want to throw in the first. See how close this is. It's declined. We're gonna get Nick Bosa for literally nothing at all, my dudes. Fifth from next year. Fifth from this year might be. Let's just go with the fourth from this year. Try to make this as fast as possible. Declined again. Do we have a backup running back or something? Madison. Okay, Madison. That one is accepted. Minute left to go. We do need a cornerback. That's what I do know we need. Our corners, our best corner is Patrick Peterson. Obviously, kind of past his prime a little bit. So we need somebody here that could be. Oh, I. How have I not looked at Stephon Gilmore yet? in any of the rebuilds that we did for the actual video. Okay, so they're not going to trade away Stephon Gilmore. I mean, he is a 99, to be completely fair. How about Casey Hayward? Like, he could be what we need right now. But that second from next year for Casey Hayward, that's accepted. All right, bet. Can we get another one? What else do we need? Oh, we do need a tight end. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to Gronk. He's the first one I can think of. We have 30 seconds to get a tight end. Our tight ends, we have Herb Smith, 90, or, uh, 75 rate is our top. I'll take myself a Rob Gronkowski. Third from next year, fifth. We have 20 seconds to go. That one was accepted. Can I get somebody in 15 seconds? We put every draft pick in. Fifth, sixth, and a uh, sixth from next year. We have 10 seconds to try to get anybody. A Colt. I'll get a Colt. Like, uh, I, I don't know. Like, what, do I, what do I do? T.Y. Hilton? Like, is he a move? It's accepted. I mean, like, I guess it's better than nothing at all. But, I mean, I think we did some decent business right there, my dudes. As now, we see if we can end today's video off as a makeup for the Minnesota Vikings, accidentally leaving them out the full rebuilding 32 team, all 32 NFL team video, hopefully make the fans happy by winning a Super Bowl. Now, I do get to sign two free agents, and you best believe I'm just getting the best guys that we need. We do need another guard. I'll get David DeCastro. Like, why the heck not? And also, to add to that secondary, or I might could just grab another right in. If anything, play linebacker. Let's get Melvin Ingram. We're going to submit that through. He signed. So if we go here, we generate best lineup. We're up to an 85 rated. We took Aaron Rodgers from the Packers. Line looks good. Our skill position players, Aaron Rodgers, Dalvin Cook, Adam Thielen, T.Y. Hilton, Justin Jefferson. Defensively, linebacker core, Anthony Barr, Bud Dupree, Eric Kendricks, Nick Bosa, Danielle Hunter, Melvin Ingram's a backup. I could have got a better free safety. It's probably what I should have tried to sign out of free agency. But we'll be fine. We're going to start that epic music. We're going to simulate to the playoffs. We'll give you a little extra here for the Vikings fans since I accidentally left you out. If you guys want to see that full video, which I guess is technically rebuilding 31 NFL teams in one video. If you guys want to watch that, I will leave a link in the description box below. Hopefully, just hopefully, dudes, I can make it up to the Vikings fans and we can at least make it deep into the playoffs. It's a great team. I mean, you took Aaron Rodgers off the Packers. We have got to win the division now. They have Jordan Love at quarterback. Our team is so good, bro. We've got to at least win like 12 games. It's got to be. We didn't even make the playoffs. This is the dumbest game of all time. An 88-rated team didn't make the playoffs.